So I just finished 30 days, actually 31 days of not smoking any cannabis for the whole month of January. I did dry January because I don't drink. So every year I reset my brain, reset my body, and just kind of like to get back to base level. And I also help my lungs a little bit. So I'm going to tell you about what I went through with some of my experiences. So maybe you know what to expect if you take a month off or just decide to quit entirely. So we had five tips that we gave you to help quit smoking weed. You can check those out in another video. But after 30 days, what did I experience? Well, every time I stop smoking, I'm just going to say my armpits really sweat. I don't really know why. It doesn't make any sense to me. But as soon as I smoke, my armpits don't sweat anymore. So maybe my anxiety level in my body is just higher than most people. But that's one thing that happened during the month is that my armpits sweat a little bit more. Now, I did go to the gym because I had way more energy. I had way more energy than I usually do if I'm smoking every night or every day. So what did I do? I went to the gym either before work or after work because I had enough energy. I also started a couple new art projects. I started writing a new screenplay. I actually, unfortunately, got no sleep. So I'm just going to tell you, I woke up almost every two hours now, I don't know why, but every month that I take off, it's hard for me to sleep. Cannabis helps me sleep. And the other thing that goes with no sleep is my dreams were so vivid and really weird. I'm really not going to lie about it. I'm not making any of this up. I can't go into too much detail <laughs> about the dreams, but let's just say they were really all over the place and I should probably see what they mean. Um, I had a dream about Nikki Haley for some reason. I had a dream that I was in AA in World War II, uh, but not for Americans, if you get what I'm saying. Uh, it really made no sense, any of the dreams. So I, I got to just remember, what am I consuming, you know, that's making me dream like this? Uh, probably too much political stuff going on in the news. That's just my guess. But... So after 31 days, I woke up every two or three hours. It was tough for me to sleep. A couple nights, I just woke up at 5.30 and got my day started. I had way more energy. I had way more clarity in my brain. But I also had very vivid dreams and my armpits wouldn't stop sweating. Now, I don't know what all of that means, but I'm just relaying to you what I experienced in my month off. Now, I was able to get multiple projects started, and actually, I felt sharper. I really did. As much as I love cannabis, it does slow you down. It literally slows you down. That's what it does. That's why you're able to sleep and all that other stuff. So take that for what it's worth, but those are my recaps. Just a quick little recap. Let me know what you experience when you take a quick break or when you quit smoking permanently. Now, I didn't vape. I didn't smoke anything else. I didn't do anything. I didn't take gummies. I didn't do anything, any cannabis related. I went 31 days, no cannabis at all. It was tough. First couple of weeks, it was tough. But after that, things got smoother, got into a little bit of a rhythm. And then February 1st or 2nd on the Friday, it was good to be back, if you know what I'm saying. I queued up the whole final season of Archer, and I got one last episode to watch. So what do you do? on your month off from smoking. Let me know in the comments, and I wish you the best. That's my quick little recap of what I experienced. Hope it helped. Till next time, stay blessed. Don't forget to tip your butt tenders.